How is it going? Night out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. Um, on my playthrough of Punch Out for the Nintendo Wii. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do. Last time we did the major circuit challenges. Now we're gonna do the world circuit challenges. Um. Um, so, if you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Um, what is your favorite game to speed run? I would love to know what your favorite game to speed run is. I've heard some people on my Minor Circuit Challenges video asking me to do a playthrough of, um, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle after I finish this game. Now I think I might as well do that. Cause I think I might do that game after this, after I finish this game. You know it won't take too long to finish Punch Out cause Punch Out's so short. And then um... So three challenges Aaron Ryan has. Land seven star punches during the fight. KO or TKO Aaron Ryan without getting hit. And find four different ways to earn stars. I know how to do all three in a single match, and that's what we're going to try to do, is all three challenges in a single match. So here we go. His four star opportunities are this. The first one is where you dodge and punch like this, and then you have to dodge and punch again. So you have to be pretty tight with the second time you did it. And now we're going to use a star punch here. The second star punch opportunity is a taunt. The third one is countering this punch right here. Yeah, that's two star punches landed. That's three star punches landed. And then the final star opportunity is the headbutt. It's blocking the headbutt, which you have to tap the block button right before you get hit by it. And then just counter back immediately. That's what you do. It's that simple. And then I'm going to counter and star. We're going to try to get as many stars as possible. We don't get hit. We'll get all three of them go. There we go. That's all three challenges in one go. I told you it's simple. You just gotta do that. That's Aaron Ryan down, so now we're going to Soda Poppy and Ski. His challenges are stop Soda Pop from drinking every time he holds out his bottle, go for, go, go a full round without losing the heart, and TKO Soda Pop with at least a minute and 11 seconds remaining in the first round. Excuse me, challenges one and three are really easy. Basically what you're going to do is, um, in phase one you're going to do the three, it's going to be the same strategy that we did in, in the main playthrough. And that we did in the play in the main playthrough, like in the main part of the playthrough, like we did the career mode, which we're going to do the three punch knockdown first, and we know how you do that. It's very simple. Just dodge his hook, wait just a little bit, punch him in the stomach, punch him in the face, and star punch him. There you go. That's phase one. That simple. One, two. Now he has to do a quick dodge on the fourth uppercut to manipulate the number of hits he can get so he can get 12 hits. 
instead of eight. So we get 12 right there. Get your star right there. When you stop him from drinking his bottle, get your star, dodge all his uppercuts, and then two punches, then your star punch, and then he goes down. Now, he's going to do three uppercuts, do a quick dodge on the third one so he can manipulate getting nine hits. And then once your nine hit combo is done, dodge and counter on his three extended hooks. Get the star whenever he does, brings out his soda bottle, dodge his uppercut, stun him, and then star punch him and he's down. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Just follow that exact same strategy and you should build it very easily. Now we're gonna go go full round that losing a heart. So the way we do this challenge is it's pretty simple as well, as long as you know his pattern is um he does he, here's his pattern. He does two hooks. He does two uppercuts. Then he does two hooks again. Then he does two uppercuts again. And then he does a quick uppercut from the other side. Then two hooks, two uppercuts, two hooks again, two uppercuts again, and then a quick uppercut from the other side. Two hooks again, two uppercuts again, two hooks again, two uppercuts again. And then a quick uppercut from the other side. Two hooks again. And then an uppercut. And then there you go. The challenge is done. It's not that hard. Let's go, Mac Baby. Soda Pop seems like he's nursing his bottle. You can't give the baby the bottle. Let's put him away. So, um, basically, um, for this challenge, uh, it's not that hard to do if you know what his pattern is. So we're going to start round two. We're going to do the same strategy in round two as I, like what we did in round one. Like what we did in, like what we did in round one for challenges one and three. We're going to do the same strategy in round two. Okay, that's the easiest way to beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to do four uppercuts. So dodge all four. Quick dodge on the last one. Make sure you get your 12 hit combo, get the star, and then now dodge, punch him twice, and use the star punch. He's going to get up on the lower refill this time. So this time, we're not going to do the 9 hit com combo, we're just going to delay a little bit so we can make like getting only 6 hits instead of 9. Two, three, four, five, six. And now we just have to dodge these extended hooks and we don't even have to attack. Get the star, dodge his uppercut, stun him, and star punch him and he's down. There we go. We're done with Soda Popinski. Now moving on to Ball Bull. Here we go, we're moving on to Ball Bull. Ball Bull is next, so a lot of people want me to do Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This is what a lot of people want me to do. Um, all right, so Ball Bull's challenges are stop the bull charge with a star punch, K TKO or KO Ball Bull in round one, and find four different ways to earn stars. So I'm gonna try to do all three in a single match. And yes, you can do all three in a single match. The trick to doing this, however, he has four star opportunities, his rolling jabs, um, doing extra hits on his rolling jabs, doing extra hits on his hook. I mean, doing, I'm sorry, doing extra hits on his um, uppercut. And then countering the hook. 
and then counter the top one. We have to get hit by the uppercut for him to do the top one. There we go. Now we're just going to wait until, we're now we're going to try to counter his hook at the start of this phase, which will be, the hook is kind of tricky to counter. Darn it! I can normally do it pretty easily, I don't know why I'm failing at it right now. Let's start over. Let's start over, shall we? This star is really easy. Countering the bull charge with the star punch is really easy. So we do this, we get hit, and then we counter the taunt. There we go! We got it! Second try. I'm not going to counter it for the rest of the time, because... What we're going to do now is, um, so when you counter that is right after he says all land, that's when you can punch him. There we go, that's all four star opportunities. Now we just need to get a star. And we need to hold on to it. Now we just need to hold on to this star. And now he's gonna do the bull charge when he gets back up. The trick to counter the bull charge with the star punch is right after. A little bit after the sting comes out of his nose, just mash the A button. It's probably about like a seven frame window or something. It's a huge window, so. It, it's, don't, don't worry, it's not hard to climb. It's not hard to climb or anything. It's easy. The hardest part of the entire thing, and going for all their challenges in one go, is getting the star off the hook. Because the timing's kind of tricky for that. It's not difficult by any means. It's just tricky. There we go. That's all three one go. Now we're on to Super Macho Man. We know his challenges are really easy. Excuse me. Here's Super Macho Man. His challenges are win the fight and evade every clothesline attack, find three different ways to earn stars, and defeat Super Macho Man in round one. I'm going to go for all three in a single match. He has three star opportunities. Um, both of his uppercuts, when he does his right uppercut, you do two extra hits after the combo is done. Um, and make sure they're to the face, not to the stomach. They have to be to the face. And then the second star opportunity is whenever he, he does his left uppercut, you dodge, and then you wait just a little bit and then punch him like that. And then his next star opportunity is when he says photo op, just punch him in the face. And there you go. And then now we're just going to get three stars and knock him down. We got hit, that's okay. We can just heal by just... As long as we don't get hit by the clothesline, we'll be good. And now we just need to get two stars right here. And then we need to get a third one right here. And there we go. We did it. Give me your money. There we 
go. One more opponent left of the world circuit of the contender mode, which is Mr. Sandman. I'm gonna try to go for challenges one and three first, which is, um, his challenges are not that hard, actually. They're actually not that hard. They are win the fight and evade every dream one express, which is a three uppercut combo. That sounds really easy. We know we can do that. Find several different, seven different ways to earn stars, and then we have win the fight without dodging, ducking, or blocking a punch. We're gonna try to do challenges one and three, and there is a trick to do challenges one and three. He gives you so many star opportunities. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna counter everything, and try to get as many stars as possible. There we go, we had a perfect beginning. You don't have to have a perfect beginning, but but I did. <laughs> One, two, three, and we're just gonna counter everything else. Normally, if he does the Dreamland Express, when you do this challenge, you don't, you have to take it. You have two options: either take it or counter it with a Star Punch for an instant knockdown. Sadly, we're gonna take it. Let's get back up. Thank you! Yes! Now we're going to do challenges one and two. We're going to find several different ways to earn stars. So seven star opportunities he gives you, which are chopping left, chopping right, like this. Um, countering the hook. I mean, countering the quick jab, which that's probably the hardest one, is countering that quick jab. Let's we'll start over, because we want to have really good Or you can do a delayed face jab after dodging it. Countering the boot taunt is one of them. He's just beating me. Wow. He's just giving me. He's just hitting me a lot. Wow. I wasn't even ready. Why is it so difficult to counter that really quick jab? Because that's like the most difficult star to get off of him. You would think it'd be easy, but no, it's not. So, I'm ready. Ah, I was so ready, but I was too early. It's a really, they just really tricky to time, like I've already said. Let's try again. Nope. Why is it so difficult to counter? Why am I? I can normally do it pretty easily. I can do it so easily when I'm not recording. I guess it's just a let's play curse, I guess. There we go. So it's chopping left, chopping right. Those are the two star opportunities. And then there is countering the, countering the quick jab, countering the boot taunt. And now we have when we dodge the quick jab, we just did a delayed face jab after that. 
by watching for his eyebrows and when they move, that's when he punch. Now he countered the delayed jab. And that one's really easy. And then just, and then the last one is punch him in the stomach after dodging the Dreamland Express. The next one should be, if you do a quick dodge when you dodge the very last part, you can actually do an infinite combo to the stomach. Like this. And then you can keep doing this until he's down. Or you can keep doing this until health flow and finish and go with the start of the you prefer. And he's down. That is challenges one and two. So we're done with contender mode for challenges. So in the next video, we'll be doing the tile defense. I was glad I was able to do double uploads today. Because I thought I might as well. Plus, we don't have that much more left to do in this game. Because this game's a short game, like I've already said. I'm not doing champions mode, because I've already done a champions mode playthrough last year. Hey, Mac, baby. You the challenge. That's, the That's the spirit. So, we did it. So, we're done with contender mode. Alright, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Now have a good one. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.